first of all, climate change is real, it's occurring, and we need to be able to slow it down so we can plan for the impacts it's going to have on us, both economically and from an environmental point of view. The other thing I would say is it's also going to isolate us in the, national, in the international stage. And while there are many who don't care, we're in a global economy. We're in a global world. We can't ignore the rest of the world. And we're going to be joining just North Korea and Nicaragua as the only two countries that have not signed on to the Paris Accord. It, it'll take him a while. I mean, there are legal things that he can't really get out of it right away by a, by a stroke of the pen, but it's certainly sending the message that what the rest of the world recognizes as being extremely important and concerning is something about which we don't care, and that's going to isolate us, and others will step up to fill that vacuum. There are, I gather, four ways that he could leave this deal. One of them would be to go to the Senate and say, would you vote on this? What do you make of that move? Well, Why shouldn't the Senate be in charge of deciding whether or not we're a party? Well, there are two parts. There is actually a part of it that is a Senate treaty that's already been confirmed by the Senate. He could go to the Senate and tell them to undo it, and they could do it, but that's just part of it. There's also the legal part of the agreement that requires a year's advance warning to get out, and it would mean that probably the first time that he could actually stop everything would be right after the 2020 elections. But um, having said that, just the fact that he's saying we're going to do it starts everything in motion and, and psychologically makes everybody think they're out. U.S. is out. There's the economic reason for staying in. A lot of businesses say that we should. There's also a, a national security reason as well. I hear this phrase, natural security. You talk about leadership. Is enough being made about that point in particular? I don't think so. I think we've missed that and almost entirely. Uh, but there are a lot of groups that have been trying to bring this to the administration's attention on the importance of it. I mean, if you look at just the practical considerations, with the Arctic warming at twice the rate of the rest of the world, you have native Alaskan villages now that are having to move. Okay, where do you move them? What do you move? Do you move the home first? Do you move the school, the hospital, the grocery store? How do you get groceries to them? How do you get infrastructure to them? These are the kinds of decisions that are going to have to be made all along our coast, not to mention with the rest of the world.